Want to lose that stubborn belly fat fast? Today we're tackling this very goal with 10 actionable and scientifically backed tips. We'll cover everything from the importance of an active lifestyle and dietary alterations, to the role of sleep, stress management, and even the impact of habits like smoking and alcohol consumption. Each tip is a key piece of the puzzle in your journey to a leaner, healthier you. Ready to dive in? Great, let's begin. First up, we're talking about activity. And not just any activity. We're discussing the kind that gets your heart rate up and your muscles working. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity activity most days of the week. This isn't about running a marathon or lifting like a bodybuilder. It's about getting your body moving and your blood pumping. You might be wondering, what does moderate intensity activity look like? Well, it could be a brisk walk in the park, a quick swim, or even a cycling session. And let's not forget about strength training exercises. They are equally important. You could incorporate simple exercises like squats, push-ups, or lunges into your routine. This blend of aerobic and strength training exercises will not only help you shed those extra pounds around your belly, but also improve your overall fitness. So remember, getting active is a crucial step in losing belly fat. Next, let's talk about your diet, specifically, your carb intake. Carbohydrates are not inherently evil, but some types can be more detrimental to our waistlines than others. High glycemic index, or GI foods, cause a rapid rise in blood sugar and can lead to increased fat storage. These are typically your white breads, pastas, and sugary treats. To reduce belly fat, consider lowering your intake of these high GI foods. Instead, opt for low GI carbs. These are your whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. They cause a slower, steadier rise in blood sugar, helping to keep you fuller for longer and reducing the likelihood of overeating. A word of caution though, reducing carbs doesn't mean eliminating them. Carbohydrates are a vital source of energy and help fuel our brains and bodies. It's all about choosing the right carbs and maintaining a balanced diet. Remember, it's not about deprivation, but about making smarter choices. Keep in mind, reducing carbs doesn't mean eliminating them, it's all about balance. Now let's talk about fiber. Fiber is a fantastic nutrient that works wonders in our bodies. When we consume foods rich in fiber, we feel fuller for longer periods, which can help curb overeating and snacking between meals. This makes fiber a great tool in our arsenal against belly fat. But the benefits of fiber extend beyond just weight management. A healthy dose of fiber in our diet also aids in maintaining a happy and healthy gut. Foods like flax seeds and avocados are excellent sources of fiber. Flax seeds in particular are a powerhouse of nutrition, providing not just fiber but also omega-3 fatty acids and antioxidants. Avocados, too, are nutrient-dense, packed with fiber and heart-healthy, monounsaturated fats. Including these fibrous foods in our diet can help us reduce abdominal fat and keep our gut healthy. So, remember, when planning your meals, don't forget to include a good serving of fiber-rich foods. So fill up on fiber to keep your gut happy and your waistline trim? Moving on to protein. Now here's a nutrient that can truly be your ally in the battle against belly fat. Consuming more protein has been shown to help lower visceral fat levels. But let's be clear, we're not talking about reaching for that big, juicy steak every meal. Instead, we're looking at lean sources of protein. Think seafood from salmon to shrimp, full of omega-3 fatty acids. Consider lean meats like skinless chicken or turkey. Eggs are a fantastic source of protein and dairy products like Greek yogurt can pack a protein punch too. Don't forget about plant-based proteins either. Beans, lentils, and other pulses are not only protein-rich but also high in fiber. Incorporating these protein sources into each of your meals can make a substantial difference in your efforts to lose belly fat. So, don't shy away from protein. Embrace it. Include it. Enjoy it. Remember, protein is your friend when it comes to losing belly fat. Now, Let's talk about two essential nutrients, calcium and vitamin D. Ever wonder why? Well, they may play a significant role in reducing visceral adiposity. That's the fancy term for belly fat. But how, you might ask? Calcium can help regulate how your body stores fat, and vitamin D could help your body use that calcium more effectively. It's like they're the dynamic duo of fat fighting. So how can you get these nutrient superheroes into your diet? Dairy is an excellent source of both calcium and vitamin D. But if you're not a fan, don't worry. There are other options. Fortified plant-based alternatives are a great choice. Or you could try canned oily fish with bones. And let's not forget about egg yolks. They're like little packets of vitamin D power. 
So don't forget to get your daily dose of calcium and vitamin D. After all, a healthy diet is the first step towards a healthier you. Let's talk about alcohol. While it may be a social lubricant for many, it's also a significant contributor to belly fat. Alcohol is metabolized differently than other foods and beverages. When you drink, your liver gets busy converting alcohol into a substance called acetate. With acetate running through your system, your body prioritizes breaking it down over burning fat or carbohydrates. This can lead to the accumulation of fat around your midsection. Now this doesn't mean you have to cut out alcohol completely. The pattern of consumption matters more than you may think. Binge drinking is a definite no-no, as it can lead to an excess intake of calories and poor dietary choices. Instead, consider moderate consumption. For example, limit yourself to one or two servings per day. Opt for lower calorie options like red wine or light beer. And of course, pair your drink with a balanced meal to slow down the absorption of alcohol. Remember, moderation is key when it comes to alcohol. Next up, let's discuss eating windows. Imagine a window of time that you eat within each day, and outside of that window, you're fasting. This is the concept of intermittent fasting. It's not about what you eat, but when you eat. Intermittent fasting revolves around an eating pattern that cycles between periods of eating and fasting. The most popular method is the 16-8 method, where you fast for 16 hours and eat within an 8-hour window. Why do this, you might ask? Well, intermittent fasting can improve hunger signaling, meaning you'll be in tune with your body's true hunger cues, not just eating out of habit. It can also improve insulin sensitivity, which is crucial for fat burning and overall health. By consistently choosing an eating window, you're giving your body the chance to dip into its fat stores for fuel, which can lead to belly fat loss. Choosing an eating window can be a powerful tool in your belly fat loss journey. Let's talk about stress. It's a common part of life, but did you know it can impact your waistline too? Here's how it works. When we're stressed, our bodies release a hormone called cortisol. This little hormone is a bit of a troublemaker. It can increase the amount of fat your body clings to and enlarge your fat cells. Worse yet, higher levels of cortisol have been linked to more belly fat. So how can we keep cortisol in check? The answer lies in effective stress management. This might look different for everyone. For some, it could be a regular meditation or mindfulness exercises. For others, a good yoga session or a run can do wonders. The key is to find what works for you and make it a part of your routine. And don't forget to take time out to relax and enjoy life. After all, laughter is a great stress reliever too. Remember, managing stress is not just good for your mind, but also your waistline. Sleep, it's more important than you might think. When we say beauty sleep, we're not just talking about clear skin and bright eyes. A good night's rest is also crucial for managing belly fat. We're aiming for six to eight hours of sleep per night. Why is this so important? Well, when we don't get enough sleep, our bodies can get a bit confused. Hormones that signal hunger and fullness can get disrupted, leading to overeating and weight gain. Think about it. When you're tired, don't you crave sugary, fatty foods? That's your body looking for a quick energy fix. But in the long run, those extra calories can add up and turn into extra belly fat. So don't underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. It's not just about feeling rested, it's about giving your body the time it needs to regulate important functions, including weight management. So make sure you're getting enough shut-eye. Finally, let's talk about smoking. Now, we all know that smoking has a multitude of health risks, but did you know it also promotes fat storage around the abdomen? Yes, that's right. The nicotine in cigarettes not only harms your lungs, but also influences the way your body distributes fat, leading to a more concentrated accumulation around your belly. Quitting smoking, therefore, can be an effective strategy in managing belly fat. It's not easy, we know. The road to a smoke-free life is often bumpy and full of twists and turns. But remember, every journey begins with a single step. And with every cigarette you don't light up, you're taking a step towards a healthier, fitter you. So, take a deep breath and make the decision. Your body, your health, and yes, your waistline will thank you for it. Quitting smoking is a big step, but it's one worth taking. And there you have it, 10 tips to lose belly fat fast. We've covered everything from being active, reducing carbs, and increasing fiber intake, to packing in protein, consuming calcium and vitamin D-rich foods, and moderating alcohol intake. We also discussed the benefits of intermittent fasting, managing stress, ensuring adequate sleep, and quitting smoking. Remember, losing belly fat is a journey, but with these tips, you're well on your way. Until next time, stay healthy and stay motivated.